Even though I don't deserve to be happy, successful, and thin, I love and accept myself. Even though I don't deserve to be happy, successful, and thin, I love and accept myself. Even though I don't deserve to be happy, successful, and thin, I love and accept myself. I don't deserve to be happy, successful, and thin. Other people deserve happiness and success. But it is not for me. I have done too many things wrong. And I already have more than I deserve. Other people are entitled to progress. but not me. If I was successful, I would be taking more than my share and I'm too messed up for success and happiness anyway. I choose to know I deserve success, even though it is really hard for me to say out loud. Part of me not only thinks that is untrue, it recoils in fear. The part of me that doesn't want me to be happy is trying to protect me. It is trying to protect me from getting my hopes up and then having them dashed to pieces. There is part of me that believes any good in my life is unearned and undeserved. I give myself permission to know I am worthy of success and happiness. I give myself permission to know I am worthy of success and happiness. I am a child of God and deserve all that goes along with that, including all the desires of my heart. I've definitely noticed on, we're on day nine, these statements, when I'm tapping, don't feel true. And that's amazing. <laughs> For example, when I say other people are entitled to progress, but not me, I have an internal voice that says, yes, you deserve that, or yes, you're entitled to that starting. And that is, that's exactly what needs to happen for all of the stuff to, to work. It's about getting to the thought and being able to say things that you're, it's basically your subconscious that is objecting or not. So it's like all those autopilot things and it's called cognitive dissonance. When you say something and internally you get this like, or in the beginning when I would say, mm, let's pick one. I choose to know I deserve success or something along those lines. I might get kind of like a, yeah, right feeling internally as like a knee jerk reaction. And so when that happens, the cool thing is with tapping. So even though I had that going on, I just kept tapping each day and it's like kind of digging up that that knee-jerk reaction that doesn't believe it. It's kind of like digging it up and being like, okay, well, but let's look at that. And why don't you believe it? So it's really interesting to just kind of see how this is going. And it's been super helpful that I can kind of take these things that are being dug up and then be able to work with my coach on them and just kind of look at them a little bit further and yeah, I'm really just excited because 
I kind of feel like maybe tomorrow I want to try a different script because this one, I'm kind of not resonating with it at the moment because even the first one that says, even though I don't deserve to be happy, successful, or thin, it's like, no, I do deserve that. Like I'm starting to now feel that where when I say that, it feels like wrong. <laughs> it feels like, yes, I deserve that. <laughs> that's so amazing because that's the part that all of this, the goal is to change that kind of autopilot subconscious thought that's been rooted so long. Yeah, this is pretty cool.